Most people on the autism spectrum are very bright, extremely intelligent, and even those that don't speak really understand everything. The problem is that they are so disconnected from their bodies. They don't feel their bodies. They have very low interoception. And because of that, they don't develop these sensory and motor maps in their brain. So they don't really know where their body is. And if you don't develop a sensory map, I'm sure you're aware of the homunculus yeah. that forms. So first it starts with interoception. You know, a baby from the very beginning needs to be able to tell their parent non-verbally if they're in pain, if they're hungry, if they're thirsty, if they're hot, if they're cold, if they need to be changed. Um, and smell and taste if they're tired. And then from there, they develop this internal feeling of their body and then proprioception the ability of kind of knowing where their body is and as their vestibular system develops, then an area in their parietal lobe will develop that allows them to develop a map in their brain. And the right side of the brain has a complete map. And as we said, the right brain develops first. So in the first three years, the right brain is taking the lead. And that's where we're developing uh, interoception in an area on the right side called the insula and the anterior cingulate. But also the right parietal lobe is where we develop the sensory map.